Hi everyone, this is Sumit K. Welcome back with another video on Network Endpoint Groups. Uh, in this video, we are going to see what is Internet Network Endpoint Groups and we will see uh, with the demo. Uh, in, my, in my previous video, we have covered uh, uh, what is uh, cloud native uh, load balancing using the energy, uh, using the journal energy. And we understand the flow of how the uh, traffic from the load balancing is, so is directly distributing on the pods rather than the instance group. And we also compared it with the, um, with the uh, traditional way of uh, load balancing with the GKE. And so as of now, we have covered the zonal energy, which is a, a network endpoint group based on the zone. And uh, this time we are we are going to see the internet uh, uh, energies. OK, so what is internet energies? Basically, uh, a cloud load balancing supports a proxy traffic to an external backend uh, outside of the Google Cloud. So to define an external backend uh, for a load balancer, you use a resource called internet network endpoint group. So you can use this type of deployment when you want to serve contents from the external uh, backends, uh, but you but you want your Google Cloud load balancer to be the front end. So in this in this uh, diagram, you can see that uh, uh, a user is hitting the cloud CDN, and then you have this uh, this uh, load balancer, and this load balancer had multiple backend service. So what the first backend service is your instance group, or it could be a journal energy, which is nothing but your web server, uh, which is sitting inside your in your in your Google Cloud. And then you have something called the backend bucket. You can you know you can also attach uh, the backend type storage bucket as well. And there is something called the uh, the external backend. This is the backend service where you use the internet network endpoints. So where you basically direct the connection to your external uh, backends. So with global load balancer, you can uh, use the cloud CDN to cache contents to, uh, for your external backends. So uh, you can, so in this diagram, this is a mix of uh, different different uh, backend service. So this external backend can be sitting on your, uh, on uh, on the any cloud or any on-prem server or anything on the internet. Uh, uh, and, the, and whenever a user is, you know, hit your load balancer, the traffic is moved to the external backend. Right. So this is the uh, overall overflow. So this is the external load balancer component. So the the load balancer is made up of uh, uh, these four components: the forwarding rule, uh, the target HTTP proxy, then URL map, and the backend service. And then this backend service is having this internet energy backend. And what is that internet energy backend uh, is targeting to the uh, the the endpoint of uh, the FQDN and the IP port. And then this is going to going to hit the external backend. Okay, so in, in, in our demo, what we are going to do, we are basically, uh, you know, uh, this external backend is going to be our some public URL or public IP on the internet. Let's say it is a Google, Google IP or something like that. So whenever someone is hitting my internet uh, or, you know, to my load balancer, the, the backend service is forward the request uh, through the energy, the internet energy towards my external load balance, to, to, towards my external backend, which is on uh, in internet, which is something that is on internet. So this is very this is going to be a very simple demo. I'm going to show you. I have already created some of the uh, resource. So if you see that um, uh, there is a network, if you go to a compute engine, uh, one second, if you go to compute engine, and then if you go to network endpoint groups. So here I have already created an internet network endpoint groups. So if you just look at this network uh, internet network endpoint group, this is very simple network uh, internet uh, energy, which is a uh, regional in US central. The network is VPC one, the default port is 80. And it is used by the backend service one. This IP is basically the IP of my of the YouTube. If you just uh, you know, um, if you do the NS lookup here, online NS lookup tool. So, if you search for YouTube.com, you find find this IP two thirty eight. In my case, it was, it is 296 basically. So if you just do the NS lookup here, I do the YouTube. So this is the IP, right? 142, 250, 77, and 206. So you'll see the same IP over here, right? If you try to hit this IP, um, if you try to hit this IP on your browser, it is going to, you know, take you to this Google console. So I just, you know, put it, put this uh, network endpoint here. So, so in order to add this, you just simply need to click this endpoint. And what you need to do, you just need to have full the IP address of your public IP, and the default port is going to be 80. Since I have already done, I don't need to uh, redo it again. So this is a network endpoint group. Now, if you check my load balancer, this is a regional uh, external load balancer, which is in for US Central one. And uh, because my network endpoint is also in, in the US Central. 
So if you see that I have the uh, front end which, which is having this public IP and in the backend service uh, I have attached this backend service as a internet uh, network endpoint group. So if I show you uh, here, uh, when I if I show you the backend service here, so here you can see that uh, instead of uh, selecting this uh, instance group, or uh, uh, I have selected the internet network endpoint group. This time I am selecting the internet network endpoint group, not the journal one, because my backend is going to be external. So let's cancel it. Okay, and cancel this. So now what happened? If I just close everything, if you try to hit this URL, let's try to hit this. You gonna see? You're gonna move on to your google.com so you can see that now your uh, no, your external uh, endpoint is now accessible similarly you can go to the network endpoint group and update the uh, public ip of uh, any uh, your third party application and uh, you will be able to access this uh, that application through your load balancer so uh, and um, so this is uh, i mean uh, th this is what i just wanted to you know demonstrate the uh, internet network endpoint group and you can go ahead and uh, do some demos in your lab maybe you can create your own instance uh, uh, own instance with the public ip attached and this public ip you can uh, you gonna copy this and add it to the, your network endpoint group so what happened that the load balancer will send the traffic to your to, to, to this web server but with the uh, but over the internet so this is how your internet network endpoint group works and i think that's it for demo and next video i'm going to cover the uh, network endpoint group with the server list uh, so we will see in that demo if you have any question then please feel free to comment in the comment section and i will be happy to assist you